Hey guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Sharon and today we are delving into the mommy influencer realm and taking an unexpected turn. We are specifically looking at Brittany Morrow, formerly known as Brittany and Baby, and we're going to be covering her shift from mommy influencer to the controversial world of adult content creation. Um, yeah, so trust me, this is a detour you won't want to miss. Stay tuned. Welcome back. Before I get started, I want to go into my usual disclaimer. This is my channel where I share my thoughts and opinions. That being said, you may disagree and that is totally okay. If you would like to share your piece, you are more than welcome to do so in the comments below. Please keep it respectful. Everybody has a different point of view and you guys don't necessarily have to agree, but you guys can share your opinion in a respectful way. Secondly, I am covering a more sensitive topic, so please don't leave any hate comments on Brittany's page, on her family's page. This is just an open forum to discuss, but we don't need the negativity spreading elsewhere. So now that that's out of the way, let's get started. Whew. Okay, so this all started when I was minding my own business, just in my own little corner of the universe. On YouTube and I came across a video that YouTuber headlines posted and it was titled Brittany embarrassed of new job Frank has a job too and I'll put the thumbnail here so you guys can see and I was like well, what is happening girl so I clicked on the video watched the video to make a long story short Brittany has gone a different direction and I'm actually wanting to watch her video that she posted our final goodbye to YouTube and I'm gonna watch that with you guys. There has been so many other things that have happened since then. Her corn pictures got leaked to the internet and while she can do whatever she wants, right? She's her own individual person. She made her brand being a mommy influencer. So the shift from that to a an adult content creator is honestly very drastic. So everybody's freaking out and shit has massively hit the fan because viewers are actually reaching out to her family members and to the kids' schools, supposedly. And it's just a lot. A lot is happening. So let's start with the, our final goodbye video, do a quick recap of that, and then I'll move to other screenshots. I have kind of been putting off actually making this video because I wasn't sure what to say, how to say it, anything. Like right now, I'm like, I don't know. I still don't know what to say. Like there's certain things I want to talk about, but we'll just get right into it. I just want to get to the point not make this video really long, not ramble like I'm kind of doing right now. As you guys can see from the title of the video, we will no longer be family vlogging. Now, I know I've put up a video like this in the past where I said we were not going to do any more family vlogs. She did do that. She did th do that. Do you guys remember I covered it and she said something along the lines of one of the viewers like hacked into something or somebody had reached out to Aria and was giving them details of where they lived and she was so concerned for the kids safety that she was going to stop filming the kids and giving details and then she stopped for like a couple months and then just went back to filming and oversharing and the works so as a viewer from a viewer standpoint forgive me if i don't believe you forgive me if like we can't yeah we can't take you seriously vlogging and then continued to do family vlogging a couple months after this video is not like that like this this sure jan this is it for me and i know i've built this channel on pregnancy and motherhood and sharing our life as a family throughout the years and all the seasons of life and chapters that i've gone through and i'm at this point where I have entered another chapter of my life and that chapter is no more family vlogging. For a while now I have been thinking about no longer sharing the kids personal life, no longer sharing our personal life and what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I have been longing to have more peace and more privacy for our family to have more peace to have more privacy i find it interesting that she says she wants more privacy and more peace and it just seems that since these 
explicit pictures got leaked, she's had anything but peace. I mean, speaking as a complete third-party individual with no personal interest in the matter, that is just what I'm seeing is like, we are not getting privacy. Like, girl, we have seen you in and out. It's not private. And with that, here over the last few weeks, that's why I haven't been vlogging and why I haven't been sharing a lot about the kids, mainly talking about Instagram because I haven't been posting on here. But, you know, showing the kids on my Instagram because I've been doing this for over a decade now, showing, you know, what we're doing, what my kids are doing. And I'm at this turning point that I just don't have a desire to do that anymore. You know, in the very beginning, vlogging and sharing my life and what I was doing as a mom and sharing pregnancy updates and all of that brought me so much joy and happiness. But I would say over the last year or so, not to say that what I've shared hasn't brought me happiness, but it also hasn't brought me a lot of peace either. And I'm not talking about the interactions that I've had with you guys and reading your comments and interacting with you and, and receiving support from you guys. That's not what I'm talking about at all. What I'm mainly talking about is like that pit in my stomach where I'm like, I feel like I have to upload a video or I have to share this and share that. And I just am no longer comfortable doing that. We've had our privacy compromised so much and you know partially I'm responsible for that because I'm the one that puts things on the internet. I think it's interesting that she says she's found the most peace because we have those of us that have followed Brittany for years and years and years um, know how often she takes social media breaks so I don't know that I necessarily believe that all of a sudden she has felt so much peace without sharing the kids because that she's gone periods without sharing intimate details of her life and then she'll pop back up and then be like, oh, I was taking a much needed social media break. She is the YouTuber that I know that makes social media a career that takes the most breaks. I know I take a lot of breaks, girl, but I got a full time job and I don't YouTube is my side thing. It is not my main income at all I'd be broke um, but for her social media is her main source of income and I have she's just very inconsistent so I don't think that she's all of a sudden faced this epiphany of how she feels so free and happy without sharing because like I said she's gone periods without sharing I'm not saying that my journey on social media has come to the end uh, I don't know if I'll even, you know, keep uploading on here or not. There is a part of me that does enjoy sharing certain things about me as a mom or anything pertaining to me or like what the kids are doing. Like I can share a little bit of them, but without showing, you know, their face or, you know, invading their privacy. Like I, I don't mind doing that. It's just I don't feel comfortable vlogging my family anymore. I've made peace with that. So that was basically her saying that she doesn't feel comfortable showing her family, which it's hard for us as viewers, again, to believe because she's gone back and forth so many times. And personally, myself, I think a lot of us can share the same sentiment where I've been kind of wondering what she has been doing to generate income for a long time because she has Simply Etched, which they kind of stopped doing altogether once Frank got this shoulder injury. They have YouTube and then, of course, the occasional sponsorships that come through. But if she's saying she's quick quitting YouTube, which was her main source of income at one point, it's just like, what is she doing to generate income because she has a home that she purchased a couple years ago she has I'm sure car notes and she has she's always going on these vacations it seems like so where and how is she funding these things so I think that's where our minds were or a lot of our minds were as viewers like what and how are you funding this girl she did a Q&A on Instagram and I kind of want to go over some of her responses that she shared um i think it's super interesting to hear what she has to say first thought that this person was asking how i was doing i was like okay that's really sweet thank you for asking how i was doing and then i reread it and it says what have you been doing let's see besides the normal 
day-to-day -day stuff, taking care of kids, managing a household. What I fill my time with is working. Now I do something other than what I've been doing on here with Instagram sponsorships, YouTube, it is totally separate. And that is what I've been filling my time with. It used to be like a side thing and now I've turned it into basically my full-time job and that's what I've and that's what I've been doing. Interesting. I think somebody else also asked her if her job was OF on Instagram as well. And she did answer this on the Q&A she was doing on Instagram. And she said, and to answer all the other questions, my job isn't OF. Um, someone said, is Frank working too? What type of job are you doing now? So she didn't answer if Frank was working or not. But it come to find out she was not only on OF, but she was on Red GIF, which I guess is another corn site. Listen, I don't know about this stuff. This is all new to me, but if you're familiar with it, by all means, I'm just personally not. But I guess it's another adult content website. And she was also on, her pictures were also found on Reddit. And basically, it's everywhere. Like everybody knows about it now. There's explicit pictures of herself, of Frank. He does not show his face, but we can visibly tell that we can just tell that it's Frank. Okay. <laughs> um, the pictures and the proof is out there. And I mean, if that's what she wants to do, girl, do you all power to you. It's just very contradicting because on her page, she'll post, like, this is a, this is a Q&A she did a long time ago, and it says, I've seen rumors that you've opened an OnlyFans page. Is it, is that true, or is this an account, or is this account what they mean? Like, the brunette Instagram page that she has where she posts sexy or revealing pictures. She posted a response and said, I do have an account now before anyone freaks out like I've seen some people do. I'm not posting nudes. I'm actually I actually haven't posted anything and I'm not posting anything porn pornographic. OF has all different kinds of contents content. It's not just exclusive to those things. I have the account for I've had the account for a while now, just haven't done anything with it. However, I do plan on posting pictures that I can't post here, and that's really all there is to it. I think that's what she meant. So she posts that, and of course, of course you are allowed to change your mind, have a different point of view, but I don't know. I, it's just very mixed signals because on the Instagram live or Instagram Q&A that she just did, she said, no, I'm not doing OF. No, that's not the way that I uh, generate my income. And I don't know if she's basing it off a of technicality because she basically said on her Instagram live that she turned her side thing into her main income. And we all know that the side thing that she was doing was OF. So forgive us if that's what we're interpreting, you know, and she's being super vague about it. And it's interesting because this video has surfaced, which is basically like an old Q&A that she did with Frank on her brunette Brits Instagram page where she posted the exp or more sexy pictures. And she basically just said she wouldn't do OF or something like that. I don't know. I just think in retrospect, it's very interesting to listen to and let's check it out. I do not post any nudity on OnlyFans. I do not show my cupcake. I don't even show my nipples, nothing like that. It's basically content that I can't share on here because I know Instagram can be the flag or if somebody like reports and it could, I could get like taken down and everything. So I post the stuff that I can't post on here on there. I know when people think of OnlyFans, they think basically like, um, like porn or they think of like nudity, yeah. things like that, so. which a lot of people do and that's what it's known for, but that's not what I do. So I post like basically like the pictures that I posted on here, but oh, more, but you were pretty. Well, I had, I posted some on there that I well, that's how it started girl, but things have quickly changed and I'll just quickly, quickly change some on there that I couldn't post on here. Yeah. It's just more exclusive content that I can't post on here. So, I mean, if you guys want to see that, you don't have to, but if you want to, that link is in the bio, but I will not be posting like Frank and I having sex. I will not be posting full. 
And the lie detector determined that was a lie. Full on nudity, things like that. I'm just not comfortable. Um, I only post what I'm comfortable posting, so. Clearly, she has gotten a lot more comfortable. I just wanted to say that. But if you guys do have questions, you guys can ask me about it. So, again, just very interesting to see how things have shifted and have changed since... Since all of this kind of went down, Brittany has completely removed her kids from her social media, from Instagram specifically, so they are no longer on there, um, at least readily available because I looked at her Instagram page and I'll kind of insert something here for you guys to see, but as you guys can see, like, there's really no pictures of her children. She deleted the pictures off of, or she deleted videos off of uh, YouTube, so they're no longer visible there. It is unfortunate because, again, she has built her platform being a mommy influencer for so long, and she's filmed and done sponsorships with her kids. So if you look, you can still find them, like, on Google Pictures and things like that. So nothing really is fully scrubbed because she basically already created a digital footprint for them for over a decade but she has taken steps to delete them now where it gets messy is once these pictures and these things and guys i would not sit here if i myself had not seen the proof i have seen the proof with my own eyes and it's out there and unfortunately, there are people who will go real life, which is something that I actually made a post about yesterday because I was so like, listen, p people make choices and you mess up and you learn from your mistakes and sometimes you make a, a decision that you don't realize the effects that it will have later on in your life. I personally don't think what Brittany is currently doing is the right thing to do, but Again, that is not my decision to make. It is hers and it is her life and she's going to live it how she wants to do it. Um, but what I don't agree with is people going real life and sending those explicit pictures to people. Like people were sending it to Ian. Brittany has not been with Ian for I think since like 2017. And it's kind of like what are you guys doing? Like, honestly, what are you doing? Like, Ian has moved on. He, I think, has another partner. And he's still getting stuff from his ex. Like, what is happening? Like, why are people sending those explicit pictures to Ian, Ian's mom, uh, Brittany's dad, Frank's mom? Like, it's completely inappropriate. I even saw something on, I think, Discord that said that they had sent the explicit pictures to one of the kids' schools. Like, completely inappropriate. With that said, people are crazy and they're going to send screenshots um, and go real life, but I also don't agree with Keith, Brittany's dad, responding and engaging with trolls. Like, beef so freaking for real. Like, he really thought he did something, and I, like, you're making this worse. You are making this so much worse for everyone involved. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, if I was posting inappropriate pictures and people would be sending that to my parents, I would confidently say that my parents would block and delete. Or I would block and delete if my kid did something crazy and they were posting it on my profile. I'd be like, block and delete. Block and delete. I totally understand where Britney's dad is coming from because, you know, you want to stand by your family all the time and defend them and stand up for them. But don't stoop to the level of trolls. So somebody somebody left a comment saying, what do you think about your daughter doing corn with Frank? And for free. He responded and said, because you can't, little tubby. Bruh. So Keith responds and says, your opinion doesn't matter. You're a nobody. This person, another person said, you're a nasty m -er, but considering the stories Brit has said about her childhood, I'm not surprised that you're into that freaky deaky Alabama. Sheesh. Keith responds and says, lol, feeling a little ugly inside, lol. Wouldn't it be a little ugly on the outside? I don't know. Anyways, the person responded and said, you know those videos are in your search history implying that he's getting off to his own daughter, which is completely, again, inappropriate, should not have been said, but whatever. The viewer responded and said, aw, don't tell me I struck a nerve, queefy boy, mad it wasn't you and them pics, aren't you? Again, 
super inappropriate, but he continues to engage. This person is obviously trolling him and he's still going for it and saying, you sad, you haven't made it big. Jealousy is a powerful drug big? Is that what you jerk off to? Nasty. Some of us don't degrade ourselves to posting corn on Reddit for money. That's not making it big. That's scrapping the bottom of the barrel, you incompetent buffoon. Last I checked, getting your neck jizzed on for social media wasn't making it big, you sick F. So he responds and said, thanks for the support. You know Brittany paid off my house last year. Keep up the support. Without you, Brittany, Brittany be nowhere. And then Keith says, you wouldn't be here talking if you wasn't mad. Again, completely unnecessary. All of it was unnecessary. So now we have him just basically adding fire to the flames, adding wood to the fire, adding lighter fluid to the fire. He honestly did not have to engage, but he's giving us more content, quite literally. So things are just getting out of hand. I don't agree with going real life. Do I necessarily agree with what Brittany is doing? Not really, but I mean, that's her choice. It's kind of really weird how she built her empire off of this homemaker's mom life vibes, whole, so wholesome, and now she's going a very explicit direction, which makes me kind of wonder, is she so desperate to continue to generate income via social media, that, that this is the route that she's gone? Will Frank get a job outside of social media? Will he go back to being a firefighter? From what I've kind of gathered is I think he really likes being a stay-at-home dad, and I don't think he's going to go out and get a job. I, A lot of people have speculated that he's the one that's kind of like not pimping her out, but basically making her do this explicit content, which may or may not be true, but it's just really something to think about. I did post a QA and a um, on my Instagram kind of asking you guys for your thoughts and if you guys had questions. Someone said, it's getting out of control. I feel bad for B, honestly. I wonder if she's going to address this. I don't think she's going to, going to address this. I think she's going to just keep it up moving as if nothing has happened. I mean, just over the last couple of days since all of this leaked, she's been posting like banana bread recipes. She's been posting, I think like her tree candles, like just pretending like everything is sweet as pie and normal. Um, the next question was, I wonder, did they really think no one will, would ever find out? Um, this one's kind of a hard one for me because if you're posting something on social media, especially being online for as long as she has, like a decade plus, you would think that by then you would know the ramifications of posting things online and how really nothing is safe once it gets posted to the internet. So I do think a part of them thought maybe no one would find out, but come on. She's, she's a pretty widely known YouTuber. So come on, like it's gonna come out eventually. And a lot of people are also speculating that she leaked her own pictures to Reddit because I think you needed to post some sort of verification. So there's no, basically no way that those pictures would have gotten onto Reddit had she not verified her identity first. So that's another speculation going around, which is super crazy. The next question says, do you think this is her side hustle? She is turning to full-time job or was that something else? Honestly, I, I I think this is her side hustle that she was talking about. I think this is the side hustle that she was able to turn into her main income. And I think she must be doing pretty well for herself because there's no way that she would have quit family vlogging had this not been going well. And that's just my point of view. Um, and then this is a question. Some comments say that Frank forced her to do this. If that's true, I feel so bad for her. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I wonder if he's just like, I'm not getting a job, Brittany. You better get to work in because I'm not going back to being a firefighter. Like, if that's the case, that's so fucked up. Um, the last question was, wait, what did I miss? Girl, go watch YouTuber Headlines video. It's much more detailed than mine. Um, and that's really all that I have. Um, 
this is crazy. <laughs> this has unraveled into craziness. I'm sorry if my mind was all over the place. I didn't really script this one out, but there's just so much going on right now that I'm just like beside myself. So anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I'm sorry if my mind was all over the place. There, That was a lot to cover and digest, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye!